and welcome back to our convention coverage. We're over here at the Mezco booth, uh, checking out what they got in store. So we'll be seeing a bunch of first-time reveals, we'll be seeing a bunch of first appearances, and we'll be seeing just a bunch of classic Mezco stuff. So let's go check out the booth. Let me start over here with the Power Rangers collection. This is the 112 box set. These are available now, so you can get these uh, pretty much fan channels and a lot of other places. Then we have this box set of the Turtles from their classic, more uh, kind of classic comics look. And these are all available now, too. Uh, then down here, we have our Monsters collection of modern-day slashers and have, you know, Freddy, Jason, all the classic characters here. And then we have a whole line of the aliens and the predators all the way through. Come down to our zombies, we're Dawn of the Dead, and all the way to It and Ash. Up here we have that G.I. Joe collection, which has been expanding, uh, featuring Destro. And then we have Roadblock. And then up here we have Snake Eyes with his trusty uh, uh, dog. I almost said horse, sorry. And then Storm Shadow and then Duke. And then topping it off, we have the Indiana Jones line, which was recently announced. And we have Major Tote right here with that awesome burn on his hand. I'll see if I get a close-up. There we go. So that nice burn on his hand from the Staff of Raw piece, headpiece. And then we have Indiana Jones himself here with his uh, sort of temple set featuring that great idol. Nice gold uh, tint to it here as well. And over here we have Marvel characters from various lines. So we have Thanos and a bunch of different Iron Mans. And most of these should be available in stores right now. Continuing around, we have our Fantastic Four set. So this is a box set as well, and this is also available. And then your little add-on will be Doctor Doom here, and you can get him with his nice little um, energy effect. We have your classic X-Men here wearing their comic appropriate colors or 97 appropriate colors, whatever you want to call them out here. So these have been around for a while. Some of these down here, if we got the MCU, these have been also around for a while, featuring Hulk, Thor, and Hela from Ragnarok, and then Captain Marvel. And then we had the Netflix series Marvel characters as well, including Daredevil, Punisher, Iron Fist, and then we have a more... Um, a different comics Punisher over here as well. Continuing a look at Marvel, we have Morbius, we have the Ghost Rider and Hell Cycle set, and then a Doctor Strange. Down here we have our Spider-Man in his black suit, along with Green Goblin and Spider-Man. So a lot of these, like I said, are available right now, so not, not showing off anything really new over here in the booth, except for the Indiana Jones stuff, which was previously announced. Uh, so that was the first appearance of that in the show. But these are just their continuing uh, showing off their Marvel line that have made appearances at most shows, but nothing new here. I'll try to point it out when I see something new, but these are all um, already released, and you can get these right now. So one line I really wanted to check out while I was here was the five points. And this is relatively new. I believe it launched like a year ago. And this is featuring characters from classic properties like Godzilla and, uh, well, not classic, but Silent Hill. <laughs> and then um, uh, Batman and all sorts of different sets. Here we have an animated Batman set. I believe this is the first time we're getting to see this. So this is classic characters from that beloved 90s series, along with that Batmobile. That looks like it's still uh, either a prototype or just 3D printed to throw in there for the set. And then over here we have a Josie and the Pussycat set. I believe this is the first time we're seeing this as well. So this is a new appearance. Down here we have the Scooby-Doo um, Haunted Mansion. This is already out. It's been out for a while. It comes with the, the ghosts. It comes with the kids and the mystery machine. And then down here we have that Batman uh, 66 cave. This has been out for a while too. So a chance to see what this looks like all together. And this is a massive set and it has um, other portions when you turn it around. So you can check out all of that. Uh, over here we have Popeye. There's a couple Popeye sets. There's Popeye in, in the Oxheart boxing set. And then we have the Popeye box set, which comes with the cafe and all the, the main characters there. And then we have that really awesome Superman and the Mechanical Monster set from the classic cartoon, which comes with the phone booth, of course, where he could change, and then just a couple other elements. Just continuing around, showing off some more 112 figures. These are from a variety of different properties, like Hellboy, The Crow, Silent Hill, John Wick. So just want to 
make sure you guys are getting the full con experience here and checking out all the various 112 figures they have. Uh, more than I could talk about or even know, so I just want to make sure we don't miss it. Uh, so there are just a variety. I mean, 112 is a line that has really grown over the years and has just um, have such a variety of characters. It's just nice to see all these properties represented out here. Um, even more older ones like Popeye, but uh, here's one near and dear to my heart, and this would be the Ghostbusters line. I don't think this is offered anymore. Um, it might be out of print, or maybe it's on its final legs, but it's great. I mean, look at just the amazing detail. You can see even all the way down to the belts, the belt gizmos, the leg hose. You don't see the leg hose on a lot of figures. <laughs> it's kind of missing on a lot of Ghostbusters figures. But uh, it's just really great to see. And this classic Dick Tracy line here with some of those old comic goons featured in here. So fun to see that. And then, of course, Godzilla just dominates everything. So there's going to be some Godzilla in the 112 as well. And last but not least, we got some classic DC 112s, including Superman from his old movies. And we have Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. So the more the modern take on her. We have Batman 89. Always great to see Michael Keaton. Uh, and then we have some um, more comic-related properties here. So a lot of Batmans, <laughs> many, many, many Batmans, Batman. <laughs> and then uh, we have some other DC characters, Dr. Fate, Constantine. We have the Gotham by Gaslight collection. And we have some Mr. Freeze, kind of looks like video game Mr. Freeze there. And then we have a variety of other characters from the Batman Gallery of Rogues, including some uh, fan favorites as well, Harley and the Joker, Catwoman and Deathstroke. And then over here, we have uh, the Green Lantern Corps, Green Arrow. This is the green shelf. We got Black Adam and Shazam paired up really nice next to each other. We have the Flash and Reverse Flash. And then we have some great uh, classic DC Comics characters mixed in here as well. So all their versions. So they have a variety of film and uh, sort of classic look at these characters all the way back to the original versions of these characters as well. And a great sort of 66 line, not with the likeness of uh, Adam West, but still nice to see that. And then we have our DC Cinematic Universe uh, right here as well. And what is a con without exclusives? We just want to give you guys a look at the show exclusives they're offering this year, including the Void Cadet Gomez. Continuing down, we have our Wolverine exclusive. This is the Uncanny X-Men edition. Look at those great slash effects there and the glow effects for the claws. Many alternate heads, hands, all sorts of effects here. Beautiful looking character. And then last, we have the Green Ranger. And the Green Ranger also comes with hands. He comes with his human head and all sorts of blast effects for the weapons, an ensemble of weapons, uh, including his iconic dragon flute. And then we have all the energy effects as well. And that does it for our coverage of the Mezco booth. Showed you guys a ton of 112 and some other assortment of products in their lines. Some new reveals, some first time appearances like that Indiana Jones line. As always, like, subscribe, and follow. Continue our coverage here of Comic-Con. We'll be bringing you more booths. So we'll see you guys at the next booth.